Hello and welcome to this video where I'm going to be going over the SEO Power Suite Rank Tracker. This is going to be one of the main softwares that come along with it. And this is going to be great because obviously you can see what you're ranking for. And then of course, keep adding more keywords to it as you go, as most rank trackers work, right? So if you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below. We can actually get free access to this. And this is one of the tools that is very generous when it comes to the amount of keywords you can track, which is going to be unlimited, which I'll show you in a sec. Anyway, allow me to show you how to quickly get started. Let's click on new. For this, I'm just gonna enter my website, imnights.com. We don't need to enable expert options. I'm just gonna click on finish. So let's give it a little until it all loads and I'll get back to you once it's done. All right, so it didn't take too long there. Something I've noticed is that when you enter in a website like this, it's not going to give you all of your keywords, which is fine. What you can actually do is just go to add keywords button. And let's just say I want to add in unbounce pricing. Okay, that's one of the keywords I'm ranking for. Let's click on next. You know, you can do Google, Yahoo, really up to you. I'm not big on Yahoo. If it ranks there, if it ranks in Bing, you know, it, it's fine, but I'll just keep it there. Let's click on finish. And it's going to be at the bottom right here. So give it a little, a few seconds and it's quickly done already. So as you can see, this is ranked number nine. Number of searches is not yet checked. And Yahoo, like I said, doesn't really matter because we're not super focusing on this. Some of the aspects that you can utilize here, of course, once you are, say, highlighting one, let's say we have this, you can check rankings. This is kind of a way of refreshing it, where once again, same thing, we're going to click on OK. I like this feature because I've used many rank trackers in the past, and a lot of times, you know, Google can dance around. Maybe if you get some backlinks to it, maybe, you know, whatever the reason is, maybe Google is very volatile, it's moving around a lot, there's an algorithm update. You can always refresh that. I've seen actual separate rank trackers where it's kind of like, you know, you got to pay for every time you do it, which is kind of annoying, but that's a nice little feature to have in terms of that. So you can update the SEO slash PPC data, update traffic, schedule tasks and alerts, of course, adding competitors, excuse me, adding keywords, showing competitors once you add them, and of course, compare with previous results. There's also going to be a ranking summary and a keyword map. Let's click on keyword map here. So all right, so here we are with the keyword map. You're going to see there's going to be a few topics at the top here. So we have the analysis, keyword difficulty, PPC analysis, and rank analysis. We have uh, 270 number of searches. Keep in mind when it comes to searches, that's going to be a ballpark. I can tell you right now that just about every software is going to be a ballpark average. You really don't know until you actually rank for it. Some keywords, you know, you'll have where it says zero searches and you can get a ton of them. Some will say, you know, 100, you get less, you get more. Overall, it's just just the ballpark along with the competition as well. For example, with, with the uh, KEI right here is the Keyword Efficiency Index. It helps evaluate effectiveness of a keyword. The index shows the ratio between competition level and search volume. Keywords with high KEI marked with green are likely to bring more traffic to your website through organic listings. Now, given the fact a lot of these are red, except for one I think is orange, looking through quickly, uh, I know that some of these could be green, but you're not always going to know that, like I said, until you rank for it and you're up there at the top. And then, of course, you can see for yourself. I can't share that with you obviously, but something to keep in mind. We also have the keyword difficulty right here, which we're going to go to. Once again, this is a ballpark. These are all pretty generally easy, in my opinion. If I hover over this, it's going to say the score estimates the total competition difficulty level for a certain keyword. These are green, meaning they're going to be a little bit easier to rank for. The ones that go up higher and higher, obviously, are going to be a little bit more difficult overall. We have PPC analysis, if that's going to be your thing, along with the estimated PPC cost, cost per click, and so on and so forth. Many of these don't have a lot of volume or searches, so there's probably not going to be a cost per click in this specific example. And last but not least, we have our rank analysis. Okay, so this is going to be searches, rank difference, URL found, cert features, and of course, organic traffic. Once again, these are specific keywords that don't have a whole lot going on for them, not a ton of searches. So if you're looking for something more like XYZ review or pricing or a comparison, you're probably going to see more cert features or say if you're looking for a keyword to rank, that's maybe a question. You're probably going to see more featured snippets because usually when you answer a, or ask a question in Google, a lot of times it'll come up with a snippet immediately answering it. And of course, if you wanted more information, you could click on one of the links and go from there. But overall, this is a very quick overview of the SEO Power Suite Rank Tracker. This is just for tracking your own keywords. And something, like I said, I wanted to bring up right here. If you take a look at this with the free version, not only is it unlimited, but look at this, you get unlimited keywords to track. How cool is that? 
So what that means for you is you can obviously add in more keywords. You can update them if needed. Like I talked about before, maybe you get some backlinks in or maybe Google's dancing around. You really want to update and check it. It's not going to cost you extra money or credits to utilize that. I will scroll down a little bit more just to kind of show you what comes along with the difference between the free and the paid version. So a lot of this is going to be the same except for the competitor rank tracking. So with the free version, you get one competitor. Then from there, you can get five. And of course, the max is going to be 40 where you can compare what they're doing compared to what you're doing. So if you're trying to beat them out, you can obviously see in that and look for some quick wins, obviously when you rank higher than them. So so overall, that's a quick overview of the SEO Power Suite Rank Tracker. There are plenty of other features in this. This is something I love about this software overall. Not only are there four different softwares you can utilize, but within them, there's so much that you can do. For example, keyword research. And that's what I'm going to be talking about in my next video with plenty more perks that you can utilize so that you can find more keywords and of course, rank for them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. I will also have that link down below in the description in case you want to check out SEO Power Suite yourself and plenty of the free perks that they have to offer. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.